Hi guys, in this video I am going to show you the full process of installing Datamosure Pro Python version. It is very easy to run any Python program, just follow the steps. First open the official GitHub website of Datamosure Pro. Now scroll down to the download section. Here we have a Windows version, which is paid and contains lots of new features. But for now we are going to download the Python version. Just click on this button and the download will start. Here we have the zip file downloaded. Now the second step is to download and install Python in our system. So open the official Python website and click the download section. Just click the download button to download the latest version of Python. Here, we have our Python installer downloaded. Now we will have to install Python. Double click on the installer program. This is the installer interface of Python. Make sure to check this box here. After that we can simply click on the install now button. It's done, we have successfully installed Python, now close the installer. Now we will extract the zip file of Datamosure Pro. Click on the extract button. Here we have our folder extracted. You can open it and see the Datamosure Pro Python application. Now we will have to run the setup file so that it can install all the necessary external modules and packages. Just click on the open option to run the Python script. Here we have our running script, it will first ask you to install the required modules, type Y on the keyboard to confirm. It is now downloading some required modules. These are all official packages for Python having different purposes. After this process, we have another package to install, this is ffglitch package which is a glitch command program. Type Y to confirm. The download size is around 17 megabytes only. This package will be downloaded in the ffglitch folder of Datamosure Pro. So everything is done, all the required setup is finished. Now we can run the Datamosure Pro Python program. Just right click and open the script. Here we have our program, you can minimize all the other windows. Now you can explore the application interface. We have lots of effects here, and also lots of customizable options. I will show you some examples later. Sometimes, the Datamosure Pro setup may not work in some systems. In that case I will tell you the method on how to manually download the required packages for Python. To install the required Python modules, open the command prompt or the terminal of your system. Now type pip install, and the name of the required package. The list of all packages are given here. You have to install them one by one. For example pip install custom tkinter, pip install image.io, and so on. After that, you have to download FF Glitch package manually from this website. 
All the links are given in description. You can download it and extract the zip file and copy the required files in FF glitch folder of Datamosure Pro. So that's all the manual installation, all this processes are done by the setup script automatically. But I have showed you the manual process in case you ran into some error. So now, it's time to show you some examples of Datamosure Pro effects. I have some videos prepared for this tutorial. These are simple videos merged in one video. First we will import the video by clicking this button. Let's datamosh this one, I will first show the classic datamosh effect. Let's wait for the results. It's done, let's open the new Datamoshit video. Here you can see the Datamosh effect. Let me show you another mode called the water bloom effect. It is a single frame repetition effect. You can also view the log details here in the console window. You can also see the conversion progress of the video here. It's done, let's open the new Datamoshit video. Now I will show you the trendy Datamosh cut effect. For this we have to select clips which have motion in it. Like this clip of a leaf and the next clip of a waterfall. We can use the bloom effect for this. Or the void mode will also work. Here is our clean data mosh cut. I will quickly show you some more effects.
You can explore and test all the effects one by one. Every effect gives you a different glitch result. So that's all for this video, hope you like this tutorial. Please like, share and subscribe.